my god. Oh my god. I love the Cajun spice on this roll. And the bun is so soft. This lobster roll wouldn't be the same without this soft pillow of a bun. Lobster Shack and we got the most popular items here at this restaurant. We are gonna start off with a lobster bisque. This is a beautiful red soup guys and then we got two hot rolls coming. We got the Cajun lobster roll and we got the South Beach lobster roll. This has avocado, bacon, lightly dressed and we got this guy some fried fish and french fries guys. Cannot wait to show you guys the Lobster Shack in this Miami tropical storm. All right, guys, take a look at this huge basket of fried fish and french fries. That's Doesn't that look big. so good? And they got aside a tartar, tartar sauce and lemon. How many pieces of fish do we have here? Let's see how Alfonso's counting skills are. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. We counted five and, pieces of fish. And there's french fries at the bottom. And there's french fries underneath this amazing fish. Look. Wow. Whoa, the fish is so soft. It just fall apart. So soft. Okay, Alfonso's gonna try it. So soft. So soft? They got some tartar sauce over here. Let's open it up. This is like a mayo relish. It's, you have to have, when you're having fried shrimp, or fi fried fish, guys, you have to have tartar sauce. Fonzo, try the tartar sauce. No, you try it first. Okay, I'll try it first. But I don't think they like it. Ooh, that looks really good. It's so soft, guys. I told you. This fish is fall apart in your mouth, juicy. And... The coating on the outside has so much flavor. And it's really, really crispy, actually. You know, nothing's worse than having dry fish, right, Alfonso? Yeah. So nice and soft. It's like they cooked it to the perfect yeah. temperature. <laughs> the tartar sauce has that hint of lemon and then that relish, mayo. Try the tartar sauce, it's really good. Let's see what Alfonso thinks of the tartar sauce. It's great. it's great it makes the fish even more flavorful yeah. and then underneath all of this fried fish look at the amount of fries we have oh god we can't finish they're even them. seasoned fries let's give the fries a go i'll give you a go hot and crispy they're really good they're really good so much flavor guys dip it in the tartar sauce yeah. to add that extra bit this is it. so good, guys. I'm gonna eat it. So comforting. On a little storm here in Miami. The nice thing about being in Miami when there's a storm, 
is that it's like a warm shower, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Alfonso's gonna finish off some of this food. And we have- No, it's a cold shower. Cold shower. We got two amazing rolls coming up and a super delicious lobster bisque. Stay tuned. Okay guys, our beautiful lobster bisque has arrived and take a look. I love how they serve their food here. It feels very home style. And take a look at the lobster that they added on there. Looks like it could be a claw. Let's see. Woo! Oh my gosh, that thunder scared me. <laughs> That's super loud. That's the tropical Miami storm. Okay guys, this looks tremendous. I'm gonna go for the whole claw here. I'll leave a claw in there for uh, the cameraman, Alfonso. No, don't. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this is so melt in your mouth delicious and creamy. This is the perfect, like, soothe your soul soup, guys. I love that I get that tomato flavor too because there's some t uh, lobster bisque that it tastes too creamy. This has a lot of tomato flavor. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm coming back for this. This is so good. Actually, I, I thought the price of this was not too bad, like $7 for a beautiful, well done lobster bisque soup. Comes with a side of crackers. Oh, you know what, guys? There's butter in here. That is what's making it like extra satisfactory. I love the melted butter, love the taste of the lobster. Mmm. I just want to like take that lobster roll, dive it into this lobster bisque. That'll be the perfect soup sandwich. Mmm. I'm gonna leave that other claw in there for Alfonso. You guys see there's one right here, the smaller one. <laughs> but guys, mmm. Creamy, buttery, tomatoey, lobstery. This is perfect, guys. I cannot wait to try the rolls now if the soup is this good. All right, guys, so the next roll is the most popular roll on the menu. This is the Cajun lobster roll. Look at that beauty. Look at that bun. That bun looks super soft. This is a warm roll. I love how detailed it is. They put a little bit of parsley, beautiful claw here. We're gonna cut it in half so you guys can see what the inside looks like. That is such a nice roll. Bun, I can tell you guys, 10 out of 10. Like little Alfonso says, 10 out of 10. Oh, that looks so so good. Look at those Cajun spices. Wow. We're in for a treat, guys. We're in for a treat. I think I'm going to go for this one. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love the Cajun spice on this roll. And the bun is so soft. This lobster roll wouldn't be the same without this soft pillow of a bun. Mmm. Topped with some sort of a spicy mayo. This is like the mm, ultimate satisfaction roll. I love it, guys. And a little bit of history about lobsters is that they weren't even that popular in the 1700s. They weren't considered a delicacy. Now, lobster is a delicacy, guys. And if it's cooked properly, like they do, mwah, it's perfect. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. This is the best lobster roll I've had. From the bun to the seasoning to the spicy mayo. Woo! The wind is getting stormy up in here. <laughs> Guys, there's even, there's even some pickle on the side. Woo! <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Let's try the combination. Oh 
level 10, guys. The tartness, the lobster, doesn't get any better than this, guys. The next roll now is something super nice, visually nice. It's got avocado, it's got bacon, so it's the soft butter, and most importantly, really good lobster. Okay, guys, and the rain continues. Uh, me and Alfonso were just saying we haven't done a video with this much rain before and outside. It is like super tropical. I don't know if you guys can see people running, people hiding. <laughs> like rain just pouring off of these umbrellas. But there is no place I'd rather be than at the lobster shack. Because this food is ultra comforting. <laughs> Alfonso gets the thumbs up. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this roll. Look at this big boy. This is a hefty, hefty roll. Love that there's fresh avocado. There is no brown spots in that. You got bacon topped with parsley. Beautiful, beautiful bun. Side of pickle. This is definitely a one pounder. And I love it. This looks perfect. Look at this. Sits like a boat. This is a picture perfect roll. This is a chilled roll. The last one was warm. How do you even go about eating this? I do not know. We're just gonna start from the side here. I could cut it, but let's just go for it. Mmm! Mmm! There's cabbage in there and onions. It is really good. This is super fresh. I love it. I love the avocado. Mm. That is so good. There's a, some sort of a coleslaw in there. And when you add coleslaw to anything, it just adds that texture. So it has that crunch factor. The bacon is perfect. So here's just a bite of the bread, but I don't mind the bite of the bread. It is good. Wow, guys. Just the freshness of this roll. Look at the avocado, it's perfect. I'm gonna take a bite with some avocado and bacon, baby, bacon. Mmm. 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 Bacon. Wow. Oh, I love the bacon. Mmm. The bacon adds that like crispy, greasy touch to it. Because the roll is super fresh, guys. Love the combination. Whoever designed this, it's perfect. This is the South Beach lobster roll. Cabbage, lobster, avocado, bacon with the pickle, guys. All this food here has been incredibly good. The reviews were good. And we decided to come here, guys. I am so happy we came here. This is on the most popular tourist Lincoln Road on South Beach. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna finish off this amazing food. Hopefully not get too wet. And that's about it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these rolls. All right, guys, we are so full. Those lobster rolls were super delicious, guys. So now we are going to find some place on Lincoln Road for a dessert. So let's go on the search in this stormy weather. this dessert place called Mamma Mia Gelato Italiano. And what brought us here was that there was a guy making a crepe right at the window. It looks super good. Alfonso's never had a crepe like kind of dessert thing before. So let's go in and check out their gelato and crepes.
is this? That is like a oh, I know waffle that kind of. That's a waffle. Yeah, and then we have vanilla ice cream, and look at these bananas drizzled with chocolate, I love powdered waffles. sugar, and this is like a very thin crepe. I love waffles. You love waffles? Okay, well, wow, this is the first time Alfonso's having this. What do you think, Alfonso? Wait, first, see. first thoughts. I think he Whoa. likes. He goes for you. Go for that. <laughs> yeah, okay. We well, gotta try the crepe though. This is crazy. Okay, Alfonso, here you go. Is that vanilla ice cream? Yes. Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla is always Okay. Best. Let's cut here. I wonder if they put chocolate in the pancake. Oh my gosh, they did. Alfonso, look, look, they put chocolate in the pancake. Alfonso's an ice cream monster. That's why he goes straight for the ice cream. Let's try the crepe with Nutella. What I do to you? Mm. <laughs> After having all that savory lobster roll, this is super sweet. Very chocolatey. But I think what will be the best is if you mix the two together. Alfonso, you have to try a bite of this crepe. I don't want the banana. Okay, well, try this. Too bad. Look at this, Alfonso, try this. This is like Nutella. What do you think? Oops. <laughs> what do you think? Too bad, that's good. Is it good? How do you rate it out of 10? Nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half. This is the first nine and a half he's ever given. Usually you say ten. How do you rate the ice cream though? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> that is so funny. Guys, when you mix though everything, you get the banana, you get the ice cream, you get the crepe. This is the ultimate bite. Ultimate bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The mixture of it is wait, wait, wait. perfect. There's chocolate chips on this. That's, that's vanilla. Guys, this is a huge pancake. Topped with a lot of bananas. Have ice cream. This? Yeah, the ice cream is really good. Fine. Let's see the ice cream. Mmm. That is really good. A lot of customers in here. Did you guys see the ice cream? Like the way they have it all designed. They have it like really, really interesting. I like how they have the guy at the window making crepes. That's why we came in here. We saw him making this. So I think Alfonso's gonna, what are you gonna do? Polish off this ice cream. Polish this off guys. This is super tasty. What a nice way to end the lobster meal. This is gonna be gentle food. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the amazing food we had today. Like this video, subscribe so we can continue making videos for you guys. And on that note, bye.